Human civilization began when the prehistoric human mastered the use of fire for heating, lighting and cooking. Later, the use of animal power significantly contributes to the development of agriculture society and help in increasing the population. The recent industrial revolution and the invention of energy voracious engine enabled the development of today's knowledge based society where human lives in great comfort. Throughout the centuries human society has evolved by using energy in increasingly large quantities. Today we are using energy in different form like thermal, chemical, mechanical and electrical and it is necessary for the prosperity of the nation and the survival of our civilization. Airplanes and automobile use liquid hydrocarbon fuels, computers and wireless network use electricity. Contemporary households use natural gas for cooking and heating and electricity for lighting and entertainment. The world is a big place and it's a home for about 7 billion and in the next two decades two more billions are coming to join the party. To keep that party going we need a lot of energy. Currently we need to produce 170 million gigawatt of energy. But still there are 1.2 billion people with little or no electricity. In total we need additional 47 million gigawatt of energy. To fulfill this demand we need to get energy from wherever we can. Right now 80% of the energy is coming from fossil fuel like crude oil, natural gas and coal. The remaining 20% is coming from sources like nuclear power, biofuel, hydro and other renewables like solar, wind and geothermal. The use of fossil fuel for the 80% requirement is causing big problems like global climate change and global warming. Hydro, wind and solar are expected to play an important role and mitigate the problems. What do you think? Will we be able to solve the global problems and fulfill the energy demands to run the society? We will discuss this and much more about energy and environment in the coming videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.